Are you just starting to learn how to edit or wanna level up your videos in iMovie? When this video, I'll be talking about the five tips that I wish I knew when I first started editing videos for YouTube. And I personally use Final Cut Pro, but for the sake of this video, we'll be focusing on iMovie because all of these will apply to both softwares. So let's get into it, but before that, I want to thank our sponsor, Licked. Licked is the world's first and only commercial music licensing platform for online video content. If you guys want your first track free, go to the link below to download it now. Welcome to Video Influencers. My name is Benji Travis, and we're helping you build your influence income impact with online videos. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So let's get right into it. You know, when you're first learning how to edit, it can be a huge challenge and a headache when you don't know all the little tips and tricks. So that's what we're gonna be doing to help you save some time and make the whole editing process easier. And of course, we're talking about iMovie today, so let's get into the tips. Tip number one, keep the story moving with jump cuts. You know, one of the biggest mistakes new editors make is they just drop the whole clip into the timeline and they don't edit any further. So what you wanna do is create jump cuts by really deleting the dead space, removing anything that's not of value to the viewer and ultimately keeping in whatever it is that the viewer is expecting to get out of that video that they're watching. So I'm shooting some videos today, hello. I'm in the studio, I'm ready uh, to smash this script, to record the video and then start editing. However, I've got a little problem here. I ran out of tea, so I'm gonna brew myself some tea because my tea cup is empty. This is a tea area, but I don't see any of my tea stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the video over here. And so the way I like to do that is in the timeline first. And I like to remember these three letters. I-O-W, and those are the hotkeys I'll be using to make my jump cut editing much easier. And my first tip before we get into the I-O-W jump cut editing method is make sure you turn on the waveforms in your audio option when you're editing out of your library. This can actually help you focus on the sections that have audio, so it makes it easier for you to get the right parts of the video into your timeline. All right, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna put your uh, marker right where you want to start the clip, hit the I button and that uh, signals the beginning of the clip and then drag it to the very end. And again, I can see it very easily because of the waveforms of the audio and then hit the O and then hit the W key, boom! It puts it right into your timeline real easy. And again, if I'm gonna put the next part in, I and then O for the end of the clip, O and then W, bam, puts it right there. This makes it so easy to create jump cuts and is gonna make your videos so much better because ultimately it's keeping the people's attention that's really important and you wanna delete everything else that's not gonna do that. Tip number two, speeding up or slowing down a clip or better known as time-lapse shots or slow-mo shots. So sometimes, you know, in vlogs of mine on It's Judy's Life, we'll do time-lapse uh, in between different scenes. Or we might want to emphasize a point uh, and do a little bit of a slow mo. Then pull me. I'm going to show you how easy that is in iMovie to do. And so what you're going to do is go ahead and grab your clip. So I've got this clip of me uh, making some tea. We'll go ahead and drag that in. Or should I actually hit the W key and that drops it right in. And this is so, so easy. All you're going to do is click on the clip and you're gonna hit Command R and it's gonna give you a little toggle thing to be able to drag it to the left. As you can see, there's a little bunny icon there and the more you drag it to the left, the faster the clip will be. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, minimize this so we can see a little bit more of it. I'm gonna keep dragging it. So if you drag to the left, it means you're gonna speed it up. If you drag it to the right, it slows it down. So let's actually look at that. I'm gonna super speed it here. So that was a three minute clip and now it's down to 20 seconds. And let's take it up. There you go. And the opposite is for slow-mo. So if you put that little cursor in, let's go ahead and drop in my other clip of me actually pouring the water into the cup. And what I'm gonna do here is, instead of speed it up, I'm gonna slow it down. So hit Command R 
And again, it's gonna have that little toggle switch on there. And this time I'm gonna drag it to the right to slow that clip down. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's gonna take a second to process. The end result is a slow down shot. So there you go, super easy to do and very, very useful, especially in vlogs or any type of content where you wanna create that time-lapse shot, like you know the sky passing by and all the clouds uh, going super fast or obviously slow-mo to emphasize a point. We do this often in our vlogs to make a funny part even more funny. Tip number three is cropping into a clip or using Ken Burns. So obviously sometimes you wanna focus in on a specific part of the clip like my face right here, this is cropping in, or you might wanna create a zoom in effect like you're seeing right now, or a zoom out effect. So that's what's called Ken Burns. So let's go ahead and go into iMovie. Because the shot is kind of wide, I wanna crop into my tea drinking setup. So what you're gonna do is go to the crop icon, you click that, and make sure you go to crop to fill. If you do fit, that's gonna be something different. So for the sake of this part, go to crop to fill. You're gonna drag the frame uh, to the size that you want and then drag it to the position that you want to focus to and then just hit return and then there you go it's cropped into me and so this again is a simple way of focusing in on a specific part of that clip a bonus tip here is if you want to make the most of this cropping function and ability record in 4k if you record in 4k even if you crop in like a fourth of the size you're still going to get that 1080p hd quality when you upload to youtube if you're uploading in 1080 of course the second part of this is ken burns um, it's going to be in a similar place so let's go back to that area um, let's hit the crop icon but this time i'm going to hit the ken burns button. So as you can see, there's two boxes here. Uh, one is a smaller one, it says start, and the other one, it says end. So basically what this is saying is the start button, which happens to be the smaller of the two, is where the clip will start. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that right here. And uh, if it's smaller than the end box, it's going to zoom out. Um, so then what you do is you click onto the end button, and I want to make kind of a, a significant zoom out look and then I drag it and again hit uh, enter and then it's going to process for a second and then now what you're going to see is it's slowly zooming out of the clip. So if you want to zoom in you're going to do the opposite. Tip number four, using background music and lowering the volume during talking points. So this is one of the most used functions in iMovie or Final Cut Pro that I personally use because we do a lot of vlogs. We're talking a lot in our video influencers videos. It's one of the functions a lot of people don't know how to do. And it's very simple. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing you're gonna do is grab the clip that you're gonna use. So in this case, I've got this clip that I already just put the Ken Burns on. Um, then you're gonna go ahead and grab the music that you want as your background song. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that right into the timeline and as you can see um, I'm playing the music right now and it's gonna be playing while I'm drinking that tea all right what I want to do now is lower that music right when I start talking so what you're gonna do is go to where your music is below your clip and you're gonna hold down the option key and what it's gonna do it's gonna give you this crosshair arrow and you're gonna click four place markers. These place markers are gonna signal when you want the fade down to happen, when you want the uh, new lower volume to uh, be at, and then the third one is when you want the fade up to start and when you want the volume to be at its regular level. So I wanna start it right here. As I can see, that's where I'm gonna start talking. So I'll click a little bit before, that's the first one. Then the second place marker. And then I go for, I don't know, about a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put the third place marker and then the fourth one. And from there, all you're gonna do is move your cursor over where that volume bar is. And as you can see, I'm gonna click and I'm just gonna lower the volume to the level I want. I would recommend about 20%, but you're gonna want to listen to it to figure out what level is appropriate for your clips. So now, as you can see, you're going to be able to hear the music and it's going to lower at those points where I put the place markers to the appropriate level so you can hear my talking. And I can see the music is still a little bit loud, so I'm going to lower it a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and lower it a little bit more, maybe like to 9-8%. And there you go.
And so now you can hear my talking a little bit better. But let's go ahead and fast forward. Today I'm drinking some Sencha green tea from, what is this called? Super simple and I wish I knew this a long time ago because I had a janky way of doing it. I'm sure you guys have had this, which reminds me of Lick, the perfect place to get those perfect songs for your videos. Licked is a digital platform helping YouTube content creators legally use the music they love. They provide commercial music from real labels for licensing in YouTube videos without the fear of losing your ad revenue to a copyright claim. So in essence, you sign up once, search a wide variety of songs on their library, pick and pay for the song you want to use, upload the video without the worry of a copyright claim, and monetize. When you use our link in the description box, you're gonna get your first song for free. So go download that first track right now. So tip number five is a quick copy and paste function of all your edits. So one of the most mind numbing processes of editing is applying things like a color correction or a special effect and even cropping and doing that to every single clip in your project or individually changing all those up. I wish I knew this function a long time ago and it's a simple copy and paste of those edits that you're making so you don't have to apply it to every single individual clip. And the way you do it is very simple. So we're gonna go to our project in iMovie, of course. I'm gonna pick the clip that I've got and let's go ahead and change the colors. We're gonna make this black and white. I'm gonna go ahead and crop in, as you can see and you already learned. You drag this to where you want it and I'm drinking that tea, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe do like a special effect right here. I'm gonna put a raster, I don't even know what that is. All right, so I've got three different edits on this one clip, and I used to do this to every single individual clip. I'm sure you guys can relate to it, but there's an easy way to apply it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and paste it. So hit Command C, that's gonna copy it, make sure you're uh, clicked on that clip. You're gonna go to the next, clip that you want to apply those edits to go up top to the edit and you're gonna to go to paste adjustments and you can do all or you can do specific ones I usually just do all for simple edits and boom without any additional work I have applied the color correction the cropping and that special effect and you can do this with a whole bunch of clips if you highlight all the clips in the timeline so again this is probably the one tip that I hope that you take away to help you save so much time and to make editing a lot more fun and faster. So there you go. Those are the tips that I wish I knew when I first started learning how to edit on iMovie. If you guys want an additional resource, we've got bonus links down below. Obviously, you can Google or YouTube videos, but we put links to the iMovie and Final Cut Pro shortcuts and hotkeys that I suggest you look at to make your editing process much faster. If you want to see the 11 mistakes in video editing to avoid, click or tap this screen right here. If you want to see our whole playlist for beginner YouTube content creators, click or tap the screen right here. As always, my name is Benji Travis. We're helping build your influence, income, impact with online videos. I'll talk to you later.